Hi friends, today we are introducing a software retail at 1.6 latest edition. Let's take a look on how to add product simply. Here is the product add smart panel of a software where you can add your products here. Let's have a look on that. This is the product add smart panel of a software. It look like an Excel sheet. If you want to add any new product, you can just click on the new record button available here. Here comes the space for entering your product name. Let's take an example of Rexona Soap. Then click on enter. Here you have to enter your purchase price. Say 80 rupees. Then click on enter. You have to enter your opening store here. Say 10. Then click on enter. This is the space for entering your barcode. By default, barcode is available. And if you want to add any new barcode or any company barcode available, you can enter it here. Okay. Then click on enter. Enter your MRP here. 100 rupees. Enter your retail price. 100 rupees. Then click on enter. Look successfully saved. The newly added product will be appear on the top of the Excel sheet. Let's take an example of another product. Click on the new record. Then enter your next product. We will stop. Then click on enter. Enter your purchase price here. 25 rupees. Enter your opening store. 15. Enter your MRP. Say 35 rupees. Then enter your retail price. Say 30 rupees. Then click on insert. Successfully inserted your product. Look. It will appear on the top of the Excel sheet. And suppose if you want to add any new category or subcategory, there is an option available in our software for adding that. Here is an option available called product settings. Okay, here you can add new columns into the Excel sheet. Let's uh, have a look on that. These are columns available here and if you want to add a new subcategory or category all you have to do is that put a tick mark on the particular column you want to add it into the excel sheet. Okay. Uh, for an example I will add a subcategory. So I just need to put a tick mark on the subcategory button here. Then close it. Close the product panel. Then again reopen it. Look. A tick mark will appear here. And this tick mark is for adding the new subcategory. Let's add a new product. Body wash. Then click on the plus icon available here to add a new subcategory for an example liquid body care item ok then select the category I will choose it as general and if you want to make it default, there is an option available here. Default. All you have to do is that. Just put a tick mark on the default button. Then save it. Look, successfully saved. The newly added subcategory will be appear here. Then close it. Again, uh, you have to click on the product setting to view the newly added subcategory. You have to do is that. Click on the subcategory name available here. Then close it. 
again reopen the product tab panel look the subcategory names will be displayed here i'll add a new product name body wash then enter you can select your newly added subcategory from this checklist then click on enter enter your purchase price say 20 enter your opening stock say 15 enter your mrp 35 retail price 35 okay click on enter look successfully saved and if you want to view the barcode of this particular product you will be added you can also view it there is an option available here print barcode if you want to print the newly added products barcode you can print it from here just click on that look body wash look how beautiful it comes the newly added products barcode will be printed like this and if you want to add new templates for this barcode it's also possible customization is available our technicians will make it for you okay just close that then if you want to add any new columns say a uh, manufacturing date and expiring date you can add that as well all you have to do is that uh, click on the product setting then select the manufacturing and expiry date here put on a tick mark and close that again close the product ad panel reopen it look the manufacturing date and expiring date will appear here look okay in this way you can add whatever you want in this excel sheet okay these all about product chat settings okay so this is the way that you can add your new products in a software it's very simple like an excel sheet hope you guys enjoyed it Thank you so much for watching our video.